All right, I had somebody ask me about how do we dress buffalo. We had all these buffalo today. I forget we had 10 or 12 of them. And uh, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to dress them. And there again, we got a Black & Decker electric knife. These ain't sold as fillet knives. Get them online, Amazon, Walmart. They're about $15. Show you how I dress buffalo. I come in right here behind this pin here. Down to right there. I spin him over. Come right in there to get that first reel. Turn my fillet knife sideways, just like I would a crappie or anything else. Cut it all the way off, like so. Now I'm gonna come over here. Flip him over, get the other side. Right in there like so. Don't need that. You come in here and get that first rib again. Once you crack that first rib, it goes pretty good then. Helps to have a good sharp electric fillet knife right down the backbone, just like that. You come in here, take that out, hold that head right there. And I got my backbone, got every part of the buffalo right there. like you filleting anything else. And you're gonna have some fat right in here. Just take a knife, just push that out of there, right there. On the inside of them ribs, scrape that skin and stuff out of there. I'll show you how to fix these ribs here in a minute. Do that on both sides. Scrape that liver and fat out of there, get all that out of there. Don't need that. All right, so we got our backbone there. What I would do with it is I'm gonna grab that skin right there and get rid of that. And me personally, I'm gonna take that fin out right there. Like so. I'm gonna crack this fin off. Catfish skinners. Just the way I do them for myself. But I go and take it thin out. I just pop that back in a couple places like that. Take me a knife, cut that. So I've got three pieces of backbone there. Then I'm gonna take my ribs and I'm gonna go right in behind them and cut them off of the tenderloin. And there's the tenderloin right there. If you got a little skin or something left on it, you can take it off. Only thing I can tell you about that is there's a lot of bones in this tenderloin in here, a lot of small bones. And the best thing to do, if you're gonna keep this tenderloin, 
is to not cut through that meat, but to tear it like so. Now that's your buffalo. I like to trim a little bit of that lateral line off of there, but I don't want to cut down into that meat because I don't want to cut them little bones. I like to take just a little bit of that bloodline off of that lateral line myself, like so. You can notch this a little bit, like so, and then tear it. But you do not want to cut them bones. So that's the best way to do it, something like that. And then my ribs, what I do on them is I like to trim this fat off on that corner. Trim that corner off of them. Just like so. This will be the best buffalo ribs you ever eat if you trim them out like this. Now that's, that's your buffalo ribs right there. You take, cut it in a couple spots like so. About three ribs in each piece. Don't cut across them. Like that right there, that's your buffalo ribs. Kind of tear it a little bit, maybe tear it into a couple, two or three pieces. Much rather tear it than, than you don't want to cut them little bones. You can't see them in there, but it's a lot of little bones in there. That's it on the buffalo. That's one whole buffalo. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.